Welcome again to Construction Skills, where we broadcast short technical video regarding constructions. We will continue with our series on building elements, in which we will today learn about retaining walls. Retaining walls, as the name suggests, are used to retain earth or soil. They are mainly used in places where there is large level difference and we need to retain or hold earth or soil at one place. Retaining walls can be made of stone walls or RCC. We need to first understand one basic concept about soil used in civil engineering, which is angle of repose. In brief, angle of repose is the self-sustaining angle of soil. If we drop soil, it will form heap. The angle which this heap makes with horizontal surface is the angle of repose. This is the angle at which soil self-supports itself. Usually, for all practical purposes in civil engineering, this angle is considered to be 30 degrees. If we have to hold the soil at angles steeper than this, we need to provide retaining walls. The main components of retaining wall are stem, toe and hill. Additional load above soil is called surcharge. Due to the load from soil, stem bends away from the soil surface, creating tension towards the soil face. Hence, main reinforcement is placed along the side of soil surface. Also, toe is lifted up while heel goes down due to the soil pressure, creating tension as can be seen in graphics. Main reinforcements for toe and heel are placed along these faces of tension. Retaining walls tend to overturn about the toe point due to soil loads. This has to be counterbalanced by self weight of retaining wall and weight of soil above the hill. Retaining walls also tend to slide due to load from soil. This has to be counterbalanced by self weight of retaining wall and weight of soil above the hill. Alternatively, sometimes shear key or friction key as shown is provided to arrest this sliding. Later, we will do a separate series on different types of retaining wall and its uses. Weep holes are tiny but probably the most important part of retaining wall. Weep holes release water pressure from the soil. This helps considerably economize the design because then we have to only design for soil pressure and not for water pressure. We recommend to provide weep holes for every retaining wall in staggered manner as shown in the picture. Thank you for watching this video. In this video series of building elements, we will take each element in brief. You can suggest us topics for the same in comment box. In our next video, we will explore one new and interesting type of retaining wall being developed called as Gabion walls. Kindly use this video as a guideline and always consult a competent civil or structural engineer for your construction needs. Thank you for watching.